Meanwhile, though, we have the pole vault, and uh, that's uh, already been underway for a little while. It's up to uh, 5 meters 65. Here's uh, Renault Lavillani, the favorite uh, from France. But uh, you've got the update, I know, on Stephen Hooker, uh, Steve. Well, yes, we've, um, as much as we can do, really, Peter. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a big problem for the Australian. Apparently, he was first diagnosed as having a tear in his groin area, but then they've... Uh, sort of re-evaluated it, it's not a tear, it's a, it's a, a hematoma, he's got a very bad bruising uh, inside his thigh, it's not as bad, therefore it's not as bad as they thought, but we saw when he qualified, Peter, he just took one massive jump, clutched his thigh when he came down, here's, uh, here's the lineup for the men's pole vault, clutched his thigh when he came down, and then um, just obviously didn't take any more jumps, he didn't need to, but uh, the story is that Steve's obviously not as bad as it was first diagnosed, but still quite painful, what he's going to do, I think, is, as everybody would agree, is take take his time. Don't come don't come in at any of the earlier heights. Come in maybe at something like 585, which is a wow. massive jump, massive gamble. Listen by Averlight, and we hope that he can get through. Third attempt here for Derek Miles, the American veteran, in trouble. Oh, no height. Well, that's a disappointment. Possibly the oldest man in the field, I think here that he won't progress beyond that. And I think he's the first athlete to go out of the pole vault at the moment. Most of the others have either taken their first vault or cleared it on their second attempt. So that's a disappointment for Miles. But then, the, uh, sorry, getting back to Steve Hooker, Peter, the, the story is that he is still perhaps capable of doing one, more than one vault if he has to. He can right. actually go again, but he wouldn't like to. I mean, it was straightforward enough in the qualifying because you know that a, a good height like 565 will be enough. But, of course, in, in the final, you don't quite know what will be needed for medals. And to come in at 585, that's a huge gamble. But, I mean, that, that's certainly a height which ought to get a medal. Um, on the other hand, someone like Leville and e, of course, could clear that and go higher. Well pole vault is a bit like that you've got to gamble i think and if you're injured it's probably one of the few sports or one of the few disciplines you could actually win if you are injured yes because the one good well, the one, one good jump could do it exactly well it'll certainly make it dramatic when uh, when hooker appears that's for sure well the other side of it and it's the psychological side really rob is that if he does clear it the others are going to think oh no he's back yes <laughs> i'm back in the pole vault now This is Lavien. Oh, massive clearance at that 5.65. He is a super talent, isn't he, this uh, Lavien? He, uh, he's, uh, he's come up so very fast in the last couple of years. 22 years of, of age, he's still very, very young for a pole vaulter, really. An experience that uh, seems to be an event which takes years to actually get the strength and the technique right. There's Steve Hooker. Olympic champion still not coming in, still gambling. This is Mensil now. He goes clear as well. So two Frenchmen looking very, very good in the pole vault at the moment. But we are still at a fairly uh, low height in terms of the medals, I think. 565. Although at the moment, uh, there's only Hooker has passed and the two Frenchmen who have actually cleared. This is Dorsevi of France. Well, this is his first attempt at uh, 565. Just manages to get it. He tapped the bar a little bit. Well, that means that uh, there are now, because of that, seven men clear at this height. Steve Hooker, no, has passed yet again. French are having a great competition here, aren't they, in the pole vault? But now on the pole vault, it's an interesting situation, 565. Uh, seven men have clear, but six men have failed twice. It's success there for the Ukrainian, Mazurik. Second clearance at that height. Well over the bar. Mazarik, former world junior champion, 26 years of age.
Peter Velisco in the pole vault. And the Italian former world champion also goes over on his second attempt. This was the noise I think we got earlier in the competition when Straub attempted this height and cleared it. Big roar from the crowd while the relays were going on. Steve Lewis of Great Britain in the pole vault. And he too going clear on his second attempt. Only uh, two men, uh, three men went over on their first attempt. We uh, had uh, La Villene, Maynin and Dossevi, the three Frenchmen. This is the third attempt, though, for Rands. And unfortunately, wasn't to be. So he goes out of the competition, the second man to do so. Well, again, the German. I think you'll see here, though. It was a failure. And that was his second failure at the height. Sorry, his third failure at the height. And that, uh, unfortunately, put him out of the competition. Third man to do so. This is Gripic. The World Junior Champion this year. Third attempt at this height. And he goes clear. 565. coming in now the Swede nope so that's his last attempt at that height and he goes out of the competition Cheshikov now competing for Russia he did in fact at a period of time uh, compete for Australia before moving back, retiring from the pole vault and now coming back into it. He was a world junior champion way back in 1994, 15 years ago. This is his last attempt at this height of 5.65. Could have seen his best of 5.70. And a lifetime best of 590. That was back in 99, though. No. Well, it's another one out at uh, the height of 565. Jakov walking back dejectedly, but there's not much he can do now. That's uh... just one man left to go then with a final attempt at 565. That's the Japanese vaulter Daichi Sawano. Sawano just waiting, I think, now at the end of the runway. Yes, he's been given the white flag though, and picks up his pole. Caught him air ditch. Japanese record holder, 2006 Asian Games champion, seventh at the Olympics in 2004, sixth in the World Championships back in 2005, so he is a very good competitor. 570, the coach just telling him which way the wind's blowing at the moment. I wouldn't have said there was much wind down there at trackside at the moment, but a slight breeze maybe, but not much. 
No. Negligible wind. They've, they've got a little uh, wind uh, in, in yeah. forming a device ribbon. just by a uh, ribbon, just yeah. by the, um, just before it comes to the pit itself, and that was absolutely hanging vertical as he went down the runway. Yeah. So that concludes the jumping at 5.65. Uh, those left in will now go up to 5.75. Back in the pole vault, Missouri of the Ukraine. His first attempt at 5.75. Oh, and goes clear. Well, so far, only one failure at the first attempt at uh, 5.65. So we at least have one vaulter that's uh, jumping well. Good clearance of the bar. Alexandra Gripic of uh, the of Russia at 5.75. Oh yes, a splendid effort by the Russian. Not one of the most fancied contenders in this field, but he goes clear to uh, be the second man over this height. By now Dossovi of France in the pole vault. Second attempt at 5 metres 75 for the Frenchman. Oh, superb. The uh, third man, I think it is, who's over 5.75 now, following Mazarich of Ukraine and Gripic of Russia. Steve? Well, it looks like the uh, young Frenchman, Lavillienne, is uh, in control at the moment. Well, a bit of a bang on that bar, but he clears it. Well, that actually was his third attempt at 5.75, so uh, uh, a moment of suspense and uh, very close indeed by only going over on his third attempt and hitting it quite hard. We've also got, of course, the uh, German competitor, Alexander Straub. This is his third this attempt, sorry, Peter, at 5.75. And no, that wasn't to be. So Straub's best, uh, 5.65, he's going to end up sixth. And then the young Britain coming in now, Stephen Lewis, his last attempt at the same height of 5.75. No, again. So he too will end up six. That's joint six. They've got identical cards. And so Gibalisco of Italy is uh, on that uh, list as and well. And this was uh, the first time, or the first attempt that uh, Lavillien has got at the height of 580, and he goes clear. Well, that's a big jump. That could be a medal jump. We'll have to wait and see. Steve Hooker, though, still has not come into the competition, passing this height of 580. Well, he can watch and see, can't he, what will be needed if he's only going to do one jump. And uh, having seen Lavilla Nia go clear on 5.8, he might have been tempted to come in here because, of course, Lavilla Nia had two failures at the previous height. Well, also, just a reminder, Steve, Gripic and uh, Dosovi and Mazarit were clear at 5.75. And here's Jibilisko. Well, he gambled, he's taking his final attempt at 5.80, but the former world champion does not make it. So, two failures at 5.75 and once at 5.80, and he is out. And the next man to go, Roman Maniel. He had one failure at 5.75, he goes at 5.80, and is over. Well, what a day this is proving to be for France in this event. The two men first to clear at least 5.80 are Lavillani and Maynil. Here's Gripic, third attempt at 5 metres 80. Not to be. Well, he's, he's jumped to personal best. So uh, that was the second attempt at an even better pedestal best, but a, a great performance from him. But he's just out of the medals there in fourth place because Mazurik, who clear the same height as in 5.75 as a head on counterback. Now, Dossovi for his third attempt. Mm. 
No. So after this, uh, the bar will go up to 585, the height at which uh, Steve Hooker is coming in. We have La Villani and Mamie, the two Frenchmen, at 580. And and we've also got Mazurik attempting as well. This is Steve's first jump at 585. He's carrying a bit of an injury. Let's see what he can do. He's gambling. Oh, it's a big jump. Just caught it on the way down. He knows it. It was good enough, really. Well, he'll have to jump again. That was so, so close. Well, that was so close, and uh, well, let's just I hope he's got another good jump in him. Brave effort by Hooker, as we now look at the uh, next competitor, the Frenchman, Maynil. 5.85. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant by the Frenchman. He's got a great card here, just had one failure at 575, but he's now taken the lead, 585. And Hooker will now pass his uh, further attempt at 585 to go up to 590. Well, having said that, I think. Uh Lavillain is also passing to go up to that height as well after a failure at uh, 585. They yep. realise now they've got to really push it with Hooker coming in and seemingly back to his best form. First of all, though, Mazurik, who had one failure at 580 and then is tempting his next jump at this height, 585. Nowhere near. But now that Hooker has cleared the height, Mazurik is out of the medals. So here is Hooker, Steve at 590. Well, this is a big jump, isn't it? If he gets this, he'll nail a medal. And he may even nail the goal with it. Come on, Steve, it's in. It's a big jump and he goes clear. Well, it's a bit SMB Averish, but this man has pulled it off. He's come in at the last. <laughs> As part of his coach. Well, I don't think he can believe it because he's been injured for the last week or so. Well, it's really now getting quite gripping. Hook up as clear as we saw at 590. Lovien passing now at that height with one failure has put the bar up at 595. Two failures, in fact, one at 585 and 590. This is his last chance. Well, if he goes clear, he puts the pressure back on Hooker. If he doesn't, he finishes, I think, in third, Peter. Is that right? That's right. Oh, and he's in third. Hooker is safe, even with a silver now. Just one more jump, and it's another Frenchman. Mesnil has got one attempt, no, sorry, two attempts at this height. And La Villani will take the bronze medal, having cleared 580 on his first attempt. Dossavi, the other Frenchman, in sixth place. And there's Steve Hooker just congratulating him. Well, this is a big ask. Menil, his personal best is 595. This is it, but that was in 2003. He's only got a season's best of 582 well he beat that with that 585 but then he missed out on the 590 this is way up there now this is serious vaulting 595 no he never really attacked that did he Well, Steve Hooker must be thinking the gold medal is almost in his pocket. Discussing what will happen if this last jump goes well for Manil. Well, he's only had two jumps in the competition, Steve Hooker. A failure at 585, a grimace after that 
and then that wonderful jump at 590 which sealed it well this is the crunch jump really this decides who gets silver and who gets gold and it's a big jump he's got an equal his lifetime best which was done back in 2003 there's steve hookup that one jump that just that one jump at 595 a man that's injured comes in jumps and could seal the gold medal Manil now of France. The crowd. Everybody in the stadium just waiting to see whether he can do it. This is it. Oh, well, it's a good attempt, but not good enough. The silver and bronze go to France, but the gold goes to Australia. Well, Alex Barnov, his coach, can't believe it. And I don't think the Frenchman can either because Steve has been injured all week. But he's come back with a vengeance. Well, Isambayeva did a similar thing in the women's. But unfortunately, she really didn't pull it off. Steve may have injured himself getting over that barrier there a bit more than he was in the past. <laughs> I think that groin's still painful, but uh, he doesn't mind that now because uh, he's got the title. What a spirited performance. Well, that's the world title to add, add to his Olympic title. And there it is in black and white. Steve Hooker, 590. Behind him, the, the two Frenchmen really did try their best, Manil and Lavillienne. 585 and 580.